Hello and welcome to the fourth part of my series on how to get faster at the Rubik's Cube. Uh, this part will be regarding F2L, which is the step of the Friedrich method where you insert edges and corners, edges and an edge and corner at the same time. If you do not know F2L, this video will not help you. So I suggest learning that and there are um, lots of great tutorials on YouTube on how to learn F2L. Okay, the first thing I'll be doing is just discussing a bit about F2L. Um, I use the intuitive method of F2L, some people learn algorithms, but I, I think that intuitive is a much better way of learning it as you actually understand what's going on. However, if you've learned the algorithms, if you learn the algorithms, then you can basically understand what you're doing and how you're solving the pairs. However, some people who use intuitive F2L have very strange ways of solving the pairs, solving the pairs if the if it's a hard case. And there are some algorithms which you can learn for difficult cases, and some special cases, special algorithms you can learn for like strange cases. In my video, I'll be going over a couple of those. Okay, so that's the outline out of the way. Now I'll move on to actually teaching you uh, how to get faster at the F2L. Okay, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just do a quick example solve, example F2L solve. Okay, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just quickly do uh, an example of what I would, how I would solve the F2L. Okay, so I've got my cross. All done, and now first thing is this this pair. It is the white, blue, red pair. Um, it's quite easy uh, to do this. Basically, just break it apart. This, then you two are you two, and then just insert it to the back. Some people might have like strange ways. That's basically. Do not rotate and just do like that. Because it's much easier just, you know, the slots back there, L V O R. Alright, the next thing I see is this, these two. So, bring that away from the slot, put that up there, and then insert there. And as I saw that, as I was doing that, I saw these two. So this goes like that. So you put that away from the slot, that edge. Bring that corner there. And then insert to the back. Then the last one is just an algorithm I learned. So it's just this case. Most people would know this algorithm. I used to do something really strange for this. But uh yep, so it's just R U R R A. And then U D. Okay? So A I R I. If I did a U two then I have to rotate. So I do a U then a D. And then just insert to the back. Okay. Uh, that was just a quick sample of F2L. Now I'll be teaching you some things on how to get faster your F2L. Okay, the first thing that I'll discuss are rotations. Rotations are basically where you go like that, do a Y during your F2L, and that that loses valuable time. Uh, Brendan Valance, who's basically regarded as one of the top cubes in the world, he basically does one rotation per F2L, but most people do about three or so. Uh, personally, I do a lot and I'm trying to cut down on that by learning some tricks. Uh, but yeah, my I had a 7.52 non-lucky soul and it had five rotations in it. So five rotations during the F F12. But yeah, so it rotations they can help a bit, but they can slow you down a lot. Um, most people try and cut down on rotations by using their opposite hand to solve pairs. So for example me, if I was like this, instead of doing Y2 and then R U R I, that'd be really bad. You can just do L U R I. Yeah, that that solves it. And also to cut down on rotations you can do things that touch as D like that. Which is kind of considered a rotation but not like not really. But yeah. Those, those can help as well. Yeah, so now I'll just do a quick solve, um, trying to uh, not use rotations. Alright, so I've got the cross. Now, first thing I see, uh, these two. And then, um, 
I don't actually... I know there are some... Uh, well, basically, yeah. So I've got that, and then I'll just do F prime, L, F, to just cut down on rotation. So usually, if you've got that there, you'd have to do a Y, and then insert. But you can just do F prime, L, F, wide F prime. Alright, next thing is these two. Are these two? That's just an easy two gen case. Right, um, now I have this case where it's flipped in the spot and there's the corner. So that's. Notice I had to do a rotation for that. And then this, I'd have to do another rotation to make that, make that. and then I'd just do a D prime, so move the slot over, and like that. So in that solve I only did two, two rotations, and they weren't Y2s. Um, try to avoid doing Y2 rotations, as they're, yeah, you basically never have to do them. Um, Y2's just like doing it twice, that takes maybe half a second. Um, but it, yeah, so try to avoid doing Y2s. You should never have to w do a Y2 during a solve. Okay, now I'm going to discuss uh, fast turning and slow turning. Uh, a main tip for F12 uh, for beginners go slow and look ahead. Track your pieces, go slow and look ahead. Uh, that's, that's what most people say when uh, on speed solving forums, when, when some person post a thread saying, oh, how do I get faster on my F12? Most people would reply saying, go slow, look ahead. Um, so basically, that's what I'll do. Um, and I will do a solve now uh, with voiceover. Uh, voiceover. Okay, so I'm going to just need to make this stuff up my whole thing if I slow it down. So I'm just, yep. So there's the cross there. There, you can see I'm inserting an edge, but, yep. And then I've got a F12 oven, there I inserted a corner but it's wrong so I need to go back and flip it there. And then I've just got a necklace and yeah, I saw a PLL slip. That was good, but sometimes to get faster at F12, um, if you're just doing slow turning, some people are good. Um, one YouTube user, PC with Q, uh, he's quite a good YouTuber, um, he he, I've noticed he turns really uh, smoothly and slowly, and his F12 look ahead is pretty nice. Except his last layer isn't that great. He averages about 15, but that yeah, it's pretty good. Except that that can only get you so far. Turning slow can only get you so far. Um, once in a while, try doing a solve with like um, just turn fa as fast as possible during F12. So now I'm just going to do a quick F12 solve of that while so turning as fast as possible. And that's basically what I do kind of a mix, but I turn quite fast during F12, and my look ahead isn't that great compared to like Yumu, Tabuchi, and uh, Harris Chan and stuff. Right, so I'm gonna do a solve now. Alright, that was just the F12. Um, as you can see, there it was it was a bit faster, and there were there were a lot more pauses. So yeah, as if you're a beginner, I would recommend going slow, looking ahead, taking your time uh, before before you start fast turning. Um, yeah, w once in a while, just have a go, turn as fast as you can during your pull, see where that gets you. But yeah, just take it slow, go slow, and look ahead.